Hi, this is Ram from ramkelem.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use the SQL Server top keyword. Basically, using the top keyword, we are able to limit the number of rows returned by our queries. So let's start our lesson by typing the following query. Let's say, select star from customers. As expected, we retrieved all of the information within customers table. Note the first five rows. Now, let's add the top keyword. Let's say, select top five, for example, from customers. As you can see, using the top keyword, we restricted our result set to the first five rows of the original query. This is the basic usage of the top keyword. We can specify it when we want to limit the number of records returning from a specific query. This can be quite handy when we are dealing with queries that return huge number of records. If our purpose is only to inspect few records, just to see what kind of data we have in each column, instead of returning the entire dataset and possibly impact our performance, the top keyword allows us to restrict the number of returning records. The syntax of the top keyword is pretty simple. We say select top, then we are indicating the number of rows we want in return, for example, five, and then the rest of the query, we can say star or we can indicate specific columns. For example, we can say select top 10 customer ID, last name city from customers. So this is the basic usage of the top keyword. Now, instead of simply returning the first n records, we can use the top keyword to return the first n ordered records. Let me show you an example. Let's say select top 10, last name, birth date, from customers, order by birth date. This time we are getting the top n records sorted by the column indicated at the order by clause. So in this example, the query sorts the output by the birth date column and retrieves only the top 10 records. In other words, we are getting the top 10 oldest customers. Now, if we will add the desk keyword, this time we are getting the top 10 youngest customers. Again, the query sorted the output by the birth date column in descending order, and then retrieved only the first 10 rows. So this is the usage of the top keyword in conjunction with the order by. Quite useful when we want to return the top end records sorted by specific column or columns. Okay, so in this lesson we learned how to use the top keyword in order to limit the number of rows, and how to perform a top end analysis. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below. And if you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, in ramkedem.com you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.